I'm Tom, and that is Isabel. Over the last few years, we've been converting an old Ford Transit we call La Bamba. Despite a pandemic, we managed to take it down the coast of Spain and Portugal last year, where we learned the ins and outs of van life. A second lockdown in Cornwall gave us the chance to give her a much needed improvement, and now we've returned to full-time van life for good. Join us this week as we explore the southwest of Scotland and attempt to summit Ben Lomond. We are at the southernmost point of Scotland and it's called the Mull of Galloway. And from here you can see uh, the Isle of Man and over there just on the horizon there is Northern Ireland. And this is where we're starting our video journey. Um, this is the southernmost point of Scotland, so it seemed fitting. Uh, we have been travelling through Galloway for about a week with Israel's brothers. Oh Galloway, oh Galloway, we'll drive down on the motorway. Whiskey will be sipped and our toes will be dipped. In the cold locks, it will be a lovely detox. Oh Galloway, oh Galloway, you take my heart away. They left us today and we thought we'd do a bit of uh, doing actually some video y stuff. The other side, so it looks like it's pointing at you. Too far. <laughs> oh dear! Oh, maybe that's what the big things are for. Extra full on juice. Off we go, leaving the most southerly point. Northward, let's go this way. Mull of Galloway. It's been beautiful. Welcome to Gavan. Um, so we arrived here yesterday. Uh, yesterday the sun was shining. Uh, it was really lovely, and we even went swimming. Belly button, boobs, shoulders, under. I haven't had a shower in about a week, so a little armpit wash. Actually, the last wash I had was in a really dirty lock, so. I had a lovely evening. Isabel basically worked all day. She's working again today as well. And it's provided a really nice spot to do that with like nice views out the back window. And then last night we had an amazing view because the sun set, uh, there's an island back there somewhere. Um, and the sun set right over the island. It's beautiful. There's a picture on our Instagram. You can go and check that out if you like. And today though, we got a bit of a overcast, cloudy day. Um, so once Isabel finishes work, we're gonna head off and head further north. Uh, but this has been a nice little stopover, a bit of a surprise one. So the sun has come out and Isabel is about to finish work. So I've come to surprise her with an ice cream. Oh I'm pretty sure they're. Be, I'm pretty sure they are. I couldn't see any milk. I had a little look at the thing. Thank you so much. Got the new blue twisters. Yay! <laughs> Never had these before. New this twister. They're brand new. Delicious. Twister blues. <laughs> We've just arrived at. Our uh, little park up in Loch Lomond. Uh, there's like services and little picnic tables, and it's free to stay here, which is uh, cool. There's a few other campers, like maybe seven people, and the views are stunning. Do you want me to? 
Nice Do you have a selfie? Uh, we got a big day ahead of us today. We're off on a walk, but we're going to climb Ban Lomond, which is currently in the clouds up there. But first of all, we have to get over this lock. Okay, so we got a ferry from uh, where we're parked up and we have just arrived at the ferry port and we're hiking up luck. Ignore that cut. <sighs> hey guys, so started our hike. I'm the donkey yet again carrying all the stuff. And yeah, it's a nice ferry ride, a bit chilly. But now we've definitely warmed up walking up the steep Patar. What's it called? Partigan. We can't remember the name of the, so that's the P, Patartigan or something. But we are hiking up this one, which the ferry re um, driver recommended. Giving Tom a go with the bag for a bit. And boy, do I feel lighter. So we got the ferry across Loch Lomond, which is behind us. It was 15 pounds each, which I think is Pretty, well, it's quite expensive for a random day's activity, but we're splashing out uh, and it's been really fun actually. So I'm glad we did it. Uh, and we've taken the ptarmigan route up, which is, uh, I think, a lot quieter and a little bit more interesting and windy and wiggly. So definitely a good steep hike, I love it. We're a little bit worried it might be a bit easy because of some of the things that people said online, but and also really crowded, but yeah, because we went on the Patanigan way. It's a lot quieter and actually really nice little mountain paths rather than a road. <sighs> yeah, we're gonna try the other way, like the touristy way on the way back, so we'll report what that one's like. But yeah, it's hot. Well not hot, sweaty. It's actually quite cold up here. We're looking forward to making it to the summit. Oh wow, look, we made it. Oh, I don't like whiskey. <laughs> I really don't like whiskey. I've decided. That's for you. I need some water. So we've come back on the easier uh, route, and it is. It does seem quite a bit easier. It's like a proper little road. Um, and it's a lot busier. Still got some nice views, but not as good. Our views were better.
making it. You thought I was a chance we might not make it? No, I never did, but I think now we've done it, I'm like impressed that we did that because this is far. Like, I know we would have made it, obviously, out of stubbornness, but, and it was fine, but I'm just proud of us. So we kind of cut the vlog short a bit yesterday. Um, we got chatting some guys on the boat and ended up having like six people around at our van and we finished off um, most of a bottle of whiskey and a couple of bottles of wine and uh, got a bit of a sore head today. But uh, I think we're gonna finish the vlog there anyway and we'll see you next week. Like and subscribe and all that jazz, wow, wow, wow.